the tension as reps fire nlc tuc and minimum waste struggle details in march the house of representative has not organized labor over its manner of agitation for the new minimum wage, the legislature saw the shutting down of a national grid by the striking union is tantamount economic sabotage and persons responsible for it should be arrested. According to the House of Representatives, the NLC and TUC we are circulating wrong information about the pay of the lawmakers. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, have come under fire from the House of Representatives for misleading the public about what is called fake endings of its members. They claim what an effort was undertaken to damage the lawmakers' reputation and incite public animosity towards the legislators. According to the point, she demanded that those responsible for undermining the country's economy be held accountable, citing concerns that such action may increase public dissatisfaction, repositions and damage The satisfaction and pollutions and damage the assembly reputation. The House announced this on Tuesday in a signed in a statement signed by Akin Rotimi, the House of Representatives spokesman. Reps calls for arrest of labor leaders. The House also denounced the national grid and airport shutdown that occurred during the joint union mandatory strike. The statement reads in part, and I quote Importantly, the shutdown of crucial infrastructure, such as National grid constitutes economic sabotage and is detrimental to the well-being of our country. Those responsible for this action must be held accountable. We also find it troubling that the leadership of organized labor, the majority of who live far above the means of the Nigerian, of the average Nigerian, would engage in action that exacerbates the suffering of ordinary citizens. It is necessary, therefore, to state that while industrial action and decent and fundamental rights within a democracy space that must be protected, the manner in which labor conducted itself during the last just suspended strike likely shows a lack of empathy for Nigerians. It is the objective of the leadership of the union to compel the government to implement a living wage or inflict pain on Nigerians. Additionally, it is important to address persistent misinformation and disinformation propagated by organized labor leadership regarding the earnings of lawmakers. This is especially because this that is especially because organized labor has for years contributed to false narrative about the remuneration of members of a national assembly exaggerating figures to stroke public resentment and undermine the credibility of the legislature. The tactics divert attention from the core issues at stake and unfairly vilifies the institution of parliament. It is crucial. The tactics divert attention from the core issues at stake and unfairly vilify the institution of parliament. It is crucial for all parties to engage in an honest and transparent dialogue rather than foreseeing Okay, rather than resorting, rather than spread of inaccuracies for political leverage. See, what you are saying, I don't understand it. I can never ever understand it, sure. Can never be me. What right does the National Assembly has to come outside and start telling us this super story? What rights do they have? What rights do you have so reps members have to come outside and tell us that uh, these people... Uh, they are doing this, that they are doing too much. Which too much? When Tunibu came in, the first thing he said was subsidy was gone. Secondly, he increased the salaries of you people. People think we don't um, we did not see it. He increased the salary. He increased it, I mean, to over 100 percent I did not see he increased it to 100 Over. That means they were paying them, let's say for instance, they were paying them 200 before. They start paying them 500 Yes, and then so it is good for you guys to receive money, to receive incremented salary and top. And apart from the fact that he even increased the salaries, he also went ahead to buy them each, each a US an SUV that uh, what's it called that doesn't an SUV bulletproof, which cost how many million? How many trillion? And yes, the president came in and is ready to work. Somebody come your door, say oh, you come for interview. You open the door. You check the person finish. When the person passed the interview, you start to the 
as in one start to the part the person for coming in and your person is going to walk and be paid though it's not like it's for free now make you the see now now make you the see the lawmakers in nigeria shields an emblem of racism and radicalism arresting your leaders naive and sadist to nigerian masses please try it and get your hidden places first tell us your contributions apart from looting nigerian economy where you were where were you when Minister Bodger said we spent 814 billion for national anthem? Can you imagine? 814 billion naira. You see why I say we, we, we play for this country? We play so much. And then these people have the right to come outside and start saying this bowder dash. It is quite unfortunate that national law that the lawmakers are very greedy people and the lack and lack self-respect. Who are the lawmakers? Those who senses are right at the National Assembly, the answer is none. Nigeria is dwindling because these people who see Nigeria National Assembly sit and occupy them by tricks and manipulation during elections are both 60 or close to 60 years of age, which invariably indicate that they are all retirees of people sacked from service. What can they offer? Promise and fail an act of the seats. I say yes again, I support with you, they talk. Avoid crisis. Don't try to arrest any labor leaders. So, if information carried out through, okay, if 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 information carried out, not true, are not true. Tell Nigerians the correct one. Come outside this. Yeah, say, eh, then do this one. Why then? Why they not go shut down? Why now come outside? Give come outside in the midst of everything that is going on. People are dropping dead due to hunger. People can no longer eat. What I mean is I meet a meal, a square meal, and then you come outside and you start saying, uh, labor did this. In the midst of everything that was going on, you say a national assembly, a national anthem, and then be your own, the color of your problem. And you came and changed it, and you're not telling the people not to retaliate. If they say they go use cut air, air, where they breathe, where not they breathe, they go don't cut them. You cannot choke. It's not funny. These people, is not funny at all. When tolls and criminals are welcome in the chamber house leadership, what language do you expect to gain? Federal reps and the likes are groups of arrogant beings, careless and undirectional in their rules to their constituents. They are power drunk and selfish or caught. You can say that again. You can say that again. If what you are reading about your take home is true, since you are a public figure, you can help the masses. Tell us what you are earning. After all, we voted for you. We voted you in rather. If there is no skeleton elsewhere, tell us what you take home every month. My dear, it's not even about your take home. Do you know how much these people steal and embezzle? In a month, that's their salary. They're going to cover around times 10. This is what they tell you. Their salary is like souvenir. You know, if you go rich man party, souvenir, then their salary will be like. But nothing there now. Where the real money, the, the, the money, now where they steal from. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.